I'm Rob Fraser from Ute Guide and today we're looking at Holden's top of the line Colorado Z71 Ute. Bit flash, a lot of extras on it, looks great. Let's have a look and see what it's like. The front seats are generally very comfortable, they're a bit hard um, and a bit flat I guess you like but even though there's no lumbar support in the rear they do actually support you quite well at the back. Uh, plenty of room for front people, plenty of headroom, shoulder room, leg room etc. Front drivers can be very comfortable. Unfortunately there's not a lot of room in the back seat especially with the front seats all the way back. If you move them forward for a normal size driver then there's enough again um, knee, shoulder, headroom, more for two passengers. The rear seat bench is quite flat. It can be a little bit hard over a long period of time. The seats themselves, however, do fold up if you require that to be the case. And there is a very small storage area underneath the passenger seat for any sort of valuables, I guess, if you like, that you can leave in there. The doors open reasonably wide to allow fairly good access. Grab handles for both the driver and also for the front passenger. As you can see there's a really good clear view of the dash through the top of the steering wheel and the indicator stalks etc are above the central spokes of the steering wheel which is great. You have all the typical controls on the uh, steering wheel itself, cruise control, volume, um, Bluetooth etc. The steering wheel is basically height adjustable only, not reach. So that does make taller drivers tend to reach a little bit for the steering wheel. On top of the dash is still, it's a bit of a, a hard ridge that sits along there, but apart from that, the dash itself is a soft, or well, softer feel. It's not actually soft plastic at all, but it looks pretty good. There's a bit of a storage base sitting on top there. The center um, stack has a large touch screen, sat nav screen, along with um, all the controls. Also has Apple Play and Android as well. Uh, the central buttons, I think, is about, all about fitting in the buttons because you could easily scroll through those air conditioning controls, but that's okay. And then lower down have all of the safety features, the lane departure warning, the hill descent control, the park, parking warning, traction control, etc. Uh, the Z71 has heated front seats, and then it scrolls through into the on-the-fly four-wheel drive system. There is enough room for two coffee cups, although it does tend to get a little bit crowded, especially with the back one there. Uh, it's nowhere near as good as it used to be. One thing I am disappointed about is the fact that Holden actually started this idea of the slide out um, bottle holders or cup holders next to the vents, which was a great idea and other, other manufacturers have picked them up, but now they've actually stopped doing it. The center armrest console is actually a bit tight and also the USB port is in there so if you actually are using the USB port it will take up a lot of the room. But it does fit your phone and your wallet and a few other odds and sods in there. The glove box itself is of a reasonable size. There are large rear view mirrors, also electrochromatic, but it does not have a blind spot indicator which is a bit strange I think. And it has electrochromatic rear view mirror which is great. One of the aspects of the Z71 is these larger special alloy wheels, which to be honest look pretty bloody good. The reverse end camera provides a very clear view with um, guidelines as well. There's a high level brake light for greater visibility. I'm not a huge fan of these covers. They're a bit more fussy than they need to be, as is the Ford Wild Track. I'm definitely not a fan of that one. One of the great things about the new Colorado is the 500 newton meters of torque, which comes in fairly low. They've recalibrated the match between that and the transmission, which means you can now access the most of that power and torque in normal driving conditions. Great for towing, great for uh, sand work, great for off-road work. 
and when you're just pottering around the farm like we are it's just a breeze so we just thought we'd go for a bit of a drive and take it easy Well that's it for the Holden Colorado Z71. It's a bit pricey to touch over $60,000 but it is flash and it looks great. It's got plenty of power, plenty of torque and plenty of luxury and more importantly very safe in terms of the features that it has. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.